Welcome to the playoffs, everybody, here in the Marquise Walker Career Mode Series. We're in Chicago here on Wild Card Weekend in the first ever playoff game played in this series. Marquise Walker just was named the Offensive Player of the Year in the NFC. I didn't even notice until you pointed it out in the comment section, many of you, that it actually boosted up his development to star which makes it much more likely that we see Marquise Walker become a high-quality rated quarterback. But after a great 10-6 campaign, it's time now to see, can Marquise Walker take the Giants deep into the postseason? We start at the 46-yard line thanks to our defense, who played such a key role in us getting here. Really enjoyed watching the defense continuously keep the opposing offenses from putting much points on the board. So, oh, we got some movement here. Marquise off to a hot start. Unless that was on us. It was on them. I thought it was pretty fun, though, last episode in Week 17, getting Saquon Barkley over a 170 rushing yards. It was a great game. And now Barkley starts his day by cutting to the wrong side. Second down and three, Barkley up the middle this time, sticks to the plan and gets the first down. From the 38 yard line, we'll step up here with Marquise Walker and we're gonna run now. Beckham throws a block and Marquise gets out of bounds. There were some receivers down there maybe worth taking a shot at. I'm not always looking at a certain receiver when they're breaking wide open though. As Barkley tries to roll outside here, and there's nothing. Second down and long. This one's going for Barkley, who makes a catch. Stays on his feet. Saquon inside the 25. Third and four here for Walker. Going across the middle. That's a catch! Gresham at the two is stood up. Giants knocking on the door first and goal. I know what worked last episode, so you bet we're giving this to Saquon Barkley. On first down, handoff, Barkley, he's in! Touchdown! Giant strike first here in the postseason. Chicago led by quarterback Teddy Bridgewater is able to answer. And now they come out with a five-man box. This is where you go hurry up. And that was a poor run on first down by Saquon Barkley. So, we got Chicago in this look. We're going to use it to our advantage. Second down and ten. Here's a quick one for Sterling Shepard, who was held without a catch in week 17. And now, I'm not even sure what defensive alignment this is, doubling Shepard like that. And we give it to Saquon Barkley, and he gives us the first down. We're going to throw it to Saquon now on the screen pass. And he's got it with room to run. Barkley, gain of 12. Go on, go on. Barkley checks out of the game as we switch up our personnel. Trips to the right. Looking downfield. Don't trust it. Oh, triangle had gotten open right there. But I'm already off and running. First down. Oh no, Barkley is hurt after that. Looked like a throwaway play, but no, that's a big deal if Barkley can't return. Here's a give now to Rashad Waters. We'll see if he can pick up the slack as we set up on third and seven in field goal range. Third down here for New York. They will blitz and we will nearly throw a pick. Man, we had uh, the player on the crossing pattern there would have been in a nice spot. But they had basically their linebacker sitting in the middle. And with the timing of that play, he was covering two routes at once. But if I had just stayed a little more patient there, found the crossing pattern, we would have had something. 10-7, to and that's how the score stays. 8.37 to go in the first half as we start here with some play action. And this one goes to a wide open man. Sterling Shepard fumbled it. Roquan Smith knocked it free and the Bears take over inside the 25. 
Wow, that was the cheapest easy yards we had to this point, and Roquan Smith erases it. That stuff happens sometimes. First and 10 now, down 14 to 10. And I don't like running against these eight-man fronts, so I'm not going to. Slant, incomplete Roquan Smith, part two. We do see Saquon Barkley back out there, though, at running back, so that's good news. Just got to go recapture that lead now. Hand off. Barkley works to the outside and picks up five. Third down and five here from the 30. Going out to the flats, open, and got the first down. That's Anthony Scannelbury to the 41. I guess we're still a week away from getting Evan Ingram back, but obviously we need to win to see that happen. More run heavy than pass right now as the Giants face a second down and eight. And we got Marquis stepping up on the move. He's got his man, Spencer Gresham. From the 30, Walker in some trouble, and he goes down. Had uh, my eyes downfield that time, was hoping we could protect. That's the first sack for Chicago. Here it's second down and 18, and Walker lets this one go into traffic. That is also busted free by Roquan Smith. Smith is our biggest problem right now when it comes to throwing the football. Let's have Barkley block. They give us a blitz look and bring four on third and long. Going to scramble out here and throw back to the middle now. Just want to play safe for a field goal and maybe even come close to converting. We jump ahead late first half, and here is the new score, 17-13 Bears. Bridgewater led the Bears on a field goal possession. Now we try to reclaim the lead before halftime. A long way to go, however. Dumped off Saquon Barkley. Gain of seven. A minute 16 on the clock. And got it! That was luckier than anything. Lucky that uh, Trevathan didn't see it. Maybe that's like the awareness rating or something in coverage playing an effect there because you'd normally expect the CPU to play that. You know on all Madden, that's a pick right there. But now 55 seconds to go. We have four receivers into the ball game. As much speed as possible. And float it! No! The pressure's right there. Was about to throw it to triangle. And that's when Lynch got home. A decent play here could get us into field goal range. Gresham here will run to the sticks. Beckham runs all the way across the field here. Protect, please. And just float it out. It's overthrown for Beckham. I knew I had to leave the pocket if I needed the time to throw that ball. And it just didn't work. Good defense, Chicago. On to the second half. Same score. Chicago with a slim lead. And we'll try to get back to our running game now. We are outrushing the Bears as Barkley rumbles ahead and breaks through a couple arm tackles. They have single coverage on Beckham and press coverage. That might not go well here for Chicago, especially with that matchup stick. And it looks like Beckham has a chance. Downfield, Beckham got it! Can't get away from Callahan entirely who has excellent closing speed. But Odell Beckham Jr. gets us all the way to the Chicago 25. Here we go. Hands off to Barkley, and he just runs to contact and gets about seven or eight. Good start here, everybody. Second down and two. And on this one, across the middle, it's broken up for Sterling Shepard. Second and short for a long time has been my, let's try something aggressive here down. Might need to go away from that a bit more. Third and two. Oh, no! I totally thought Smith would be sucked into the coverage on Beckham and give up the underneath, and he didn't. Chicago's making some plays here, and they're uh, surprising me in a lot of ways. Bears now have it, and Anthony Miller for 19 yards. Teddy Bridgewater, what are you doing here? Bears extend their lead. 
We gotta play a lot more mistake free the rest of the way. We need to start capitalizing better in the past game. Hand off here to Saquon Barkley and there's nothing. From the 25 yard line. We're gonna buy some time here and Walker on the move connects again Scannelbury. Marquise Walker so good outside the pocket and that's one we needed right there. Like this play here a lot, but it takes some time. First and ten, we fake it. We have plenty of protection, but they double Beckham. We'll throw it to Shepard instead, incomplete. Really good defense here. This is playoff football right here, everybody. Three and change to go here in the quarter. We'll throw this one short, and Shepard might get us right on the edge of the sticks. You know how they have the hurry up for spike and whatnot? They should have like a hurry up option that allows you to sneak. That's what I'd love to do right there. Just sneak it ahead with Marquise Walker from any formation. Just put him under center and let him go. First down and 10. And again, good job by Roquan Smith. And the pressure eventually arrives at the feet of Walker. Oh, Beckham's wide open. That one is right there for the taking. And Odell Beckham puts us inside the red zone. Marquise Walker over 10 yards an attempt because we've made these completions really count. Beckham's close to 100 yards on only three. Now it's going to be Saquon Barkley. Oh, come on. Who decided that we should double team the nose and not block Akeem Hicks with anybody? I think the best way to confuse the blocking AI is to crowd the line of scrimmage. If they double team anybody, it's game over for them. And we'll go across the middle now. Gresham. All right, third and four here, right before the quarter changes. We're throwing middle. Barkley's at the sticks. And we can't go hurry up here because uh, the quarter ended, and I'm not sure we got that first down. And it looks like we did just barely first and goal from the seven this one's going to Saquon Barkley and Eddie Goldman hits him off his feet it doesn't appear that simply running the football is gonna be the answer this time second down and goal here comes Odell Beckham Jr. and we're throwing it to our fullback who dropped it but I did throw it to my fullback after all he's not gonna make that catch all the time Third down here for Marquise Walker. Got to find someone in the end zone, and here we go. Oh, no! He dropped right into it. Roquan Smith has been so good. I keep trying to throw over the middle, and Smith is always there to ruin it. Wow, what a missed opportunity, and it's in the fourth quarter. We do get a quick three and out, so... Back to square one, essentially. Man, that is, I'm just getting outsmarted by Roquan Smith. That's all. First down and 10. We're gonna step up to run and we just run out of time. Can't continue to go backwards like this. Oh, Beckham had a chance. I'm not making that throw. That one's caught by Sterling Shepard, though, and we make it to the 30. Marquise over 300 yards passing now. Here's Barkley on the give here, spinning to his left and taken down. Five-yard pickup. Screen called here. And there's Saquon Barkley working outside. He gets past the first defender and heads out of bounds. We're not testing Roquan Smith on this one. Not again down here. He can cover too much ground too quickly. And Walker's going to the ground. Good coverage again by Chicago. Second down and 16. We're throwing it downfield and it's dropped. I think Gresham saw Roquan Smith incoming and he was having no part of it. Oh man, now we have rotation. That's horrible timing there to not have Beckham on the field. Really wanted to be able to just throw it up to him perhaps. Can't get him to jump and they're blitzing Smith. 
And Walker's going to run here. Will anything open up downfield? Walker takes off, and Roquan Smith is there again. He's everywhere. Roquan Smith having the game of his life against me today as we tack on three. So we'll see if the defense gives us a shot here. Got to stop Jordan Howard and Tariq Cohen, and we just did it. Haven't played a great game, but we still can win this if we go get a touchdown now, potentially. Clock matters, too. Hands off going to Barkley, and there's just nothing compared to last episode. Bring that safety down, probably blitz him, and we'll throw it right behind him to Anthony Scannelbury. There's a first down. New set of downs. Good coverage there by Chicago, and barely a pickup here for Walker. This has been one of the tougher defenses we've seen lately. They are taking away a lot of the things I like to do. And I liked watching Barkley run, but not today. Four down territory, especially across the 50. Here's a quick one that's in there for Reed. Kind of a risky throw, but we got it there in time. Two minutes left to go and two deep safeties. This is just straight cover too. I mean, Gresham or Reed, if we get the time, this could be the, the money ball. And they roll over the top. It's cover three. Walker on his feet still. Going to run up field and slide. Disguising coverages like that is pretty important, even in a game like Madden. Second down and five. Oh, man. Oh, no! The pressure there. Right when we had, like, Beckham getting open. Man, third and 16. Too many negative plays here. They've gotten a really fierce pass rush. Don't need it all here, but I need to get a chunk, that's for sure. Let's get that chunk. This is Shepard spinning up field and breaking a tackle. Sterling Shepard, did he just move the chains? Injury timeout on DJ Fluker, and we need to go for it here. So do not take the game out of our hands here. We need to get this done. Detroit! We're right on that first down marker. Eddie Goldman is a great nose tackle there in the middle. But they're in like their quarters defense. And Saquon's got the first down, so we're good to go. A minute to go here, everybody. Game on the line. Not sure if Smith is off sides there. No flag yet. Get this away. It's complete. Have not gotten a lot of time to throw here in this game. Chicago's pass rush has been really Detroit, impressive. Detroit. All right, 30 seconds to go. And this one's going for Beckham, and he makes no through his hands. Odell Beckham Jr. unable to make the play. Oh, no, rotation here. It's third down. I, I can't really justify calling a timeout right here. I don't think I can anyway. But we have to make sure Saquon's a part of this play. And we're going across the middle. That is complete. And we got it. Now we call timeout. In the past, I've called timeouts to bring players in who are tired. But not usually in situations like this where the timeouts are so important. Can't really afford to use one here with a stopped clock when we still had to go like 20 yards. First and goal. Trying to find the end zone here. And Walker finds Saquon Barkley! Touchdown! That was the tightest of windows! But I knew Saquon could make the catch! Oh wow, it wasn't Beckham, it wasn't Shepard, Gresham, or any of the receivers. It's the receiver playing running back instead. Saquon Barkley with the go-ahead touchdown. Working on Danny Trevathan. That was sensational. I cannot wait to watch the replay back. Two-point conversion now pretty important as we throw it for Beckham. And a great play by the safety. So it's a one-point game. And here we go at the mercy of the simming now. The kickoff goes for a 20-yard return. And that's it. Chicago can't do it in only 20 seconds. The Giants are advancing after a late score. Marquise Walker to Saquon Barkley wins it.
Chicago didn't blitz, and with all these routes over the middle, there were a lot of players to take away those options. So quickly, I had to shift to another look. And I just had faith that when Barkley cut up field here, that whoever was covering him was not going to be able to maintain the coverage. And you see him get just a half step and then a perfect throw from Marquise Walker. Ooh, this is so close here. Right foot. Okay, never mind. That first foot's down. And that one out of bounds. But one more time here. Let's watch it at full speed to Saquon Barkley. Just sensational here for the win. With Walker, we end up almost throwing for 400 yards in this game. We got some really big chunks on their defense, but I still think they played good situational football. We did not run the ball well today, unfortunately, but we made the plays at the end to pull this one out. And now we got to do it all again next episode. Can't wait. Walker's already fairly close to another upgrade, and if the playoffs continue for a couple more games here, we're going to have a chance at maybe even another upgrade to Marquise. So who is it in the divisional round? We got another chance, everybody. We're heading out to Philadelphia to meet the Eagles. We had some big games against them this year, and after they finished a half game ahead of us in the standings, the Eagles who won the first meeting 24-16, also won against us 27-24. So this is a big one for us. Division game against the champs from a couple years ago. Can Marquise Walker lead the Giants to a huge victory in the NFC Conference Championship? I can't wait. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time with another big playoff episode. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Have a great day.